Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Ron Sync. If this video is on any other channel, please go in the description below and subscribe. Um, but this is also going to be on my channel, so as you can see, um, there's a new map pack that's being released on June 3rd, I believe it is. June June 3rd. Um, and it's called the Resurgence Map Pack. Um, there should be five maps um, containing Feel, Carnival, Strike, Vacant, and the last one being Trailer Park. Um, so I'm gonna go through them, show you a little f some photos. There's only one photo for the new ones, and I'll just do a little um, review on the old ones if you guys have never played Call of Duty before. So the first one I want to talk about is Carnival. Uh, as you can see by the photo, it's based at a carnival. Um, looks really cool. There's actually, if you look in the pretty much the center of the screen, a little up, um, you'll see the guy inside of the funhouse um, shooting. So I can already tell that's gonna be a nice little camping spot. Um, overall, the map, uh, I think the map is going to be a medium to small close quarters map, um, can't really guarantee it, but um, overall it looks like a good map, good coloring, looks very nice, um, nice lighting, you know, definitely it looks like a good map. Um, next map we have fuel. Um, fuel, that tank actually is not rideable, just to let you guys know, but fuel um, is supposedly going to be the biggest map in um, Call of Duty Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the one. It's gonna be bigger than the ones in Call of Duty World at War, but I can't guarantee it. But you can already tell by the picture that um, I'm pretty sure that this is in one corner of the map, and I guess the map's gonna be split into two uh, sides. I guess you could say two divisions. It's gonna be a pretty big map, I heard. Um, can't really guarantee anything because this is only one little picture. But um, definitely looks good. Um, doesn't look like there's too much camping spots, so you never know, though. Um, next, we have Trailer Park. Um, trailer Park looks actually pretty fun. Um, kind of, kind of based like scrapyard, I guess you'd say. Probably a little bigger. Um, once again, I think there's about, I think there's two sides to the map. I'm not really sure the shape of it. Um, looks like a pretty fun map. Um, of course, you had a trailer park, but kind of weird because there's broken down airplanes and uh, all that kind of stuff but um hopefully this, this looks like a pretty good map um next um i'm just gonna talk and i'm gonna throw some video over um the next one is vacant um vacant is from call of duty 4 and so is strike but vacant is a great map i've played it for a very long time uh inside can be a pretty close quarter gameplay i guess you know well once you're inside, when you're inside of the buildings, you're pretty much doing a lot of close quarter combat. Once you get outside, um, it's a lot of me medium range shooting. There's not a lot of long range shooting at all. Um, great map for search and destroy. Pretty much any game type. I had really fun with this map. I'm glad they're bringing it back. Um, one thing I'm disappointed with is that they're not. It's, a, it's five maps, um, but they could have just threw in, threw in shipment. You know, it's a small map, and you know why not? The map pack is going to be fifteen dollars, guys. Twelve hundred Microsoft points. Um, pretty overpriced I say I have to say um, I'm not going to be getting it right away because I'm going to be going on vacation a few days after so there's no point of getting it then but um, yeah it's going to be very very interesting um, we're going to have to see and um, also strike uh, as you can see strike and vacant by the photos do look quite different um, strike looks like it has a different lighting to it um, if I go to vacant here if I go back to vacant, I'm just gonna try to uh, find vacant. Um, vacant kind of has a little darker, it seems like, uh, lighting. But uh, for strike, same thing, same setup. I just added a little details, just cause. Um, and yeah, um, overall the maps look pretty good. Um, the first map pack I was pretty disappointed with, guys. I would have to say I didn't have didn't have any fun with the new maps. Um, you know, I liked Overgrown and uh crash but um yeah fifteen dollars um june 3rd uh, which is not too long away it's like a month away and for ps3 users that's going to be one month from june 3rd uh the xbox gets it first i'm not sure why might be because we're paying for the live i'm not sure i'm not infinity war i'm not activision and um it's actually a little rumors going around that after this map pack um this is probably the last map pack um since infinity ward is um well, most of some of the Infinity War workers are pulling away from Activision, and they're going to start their own new studio, making their own new first-person shooter game, which, to me personally, I'm going to enjoy, because Activision and Infinity War are this huge legal battle, and, you know, they're putting all the time in the legal battle, and they're not putting time into what we care about, and, um, 
their um, buyers and their consumers you know so all these things that we want patched probably won't even be patched um, maybe in the future but um, yeah they're, you know they're, they're already working on Treyarch's already working on their Call of Duty and I think Infinity Ward you know starting up a new studio pretty soon um, this is a confirmed map pack by Rubber Bowling on Twitter please check out my channel in the link below subscribe I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later see ya